بالله من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفر ونشكر ونصلي ونسلم على حبيب إله العالمين حافظ السر ومبلغ رسالته الرسول المسدد المصطفى الأمجد المحمود الأحمد أبي القاسم محمد وبآله الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين صلوات الله عليهم أجمعين ولعنة الله لا أدائهم ومنكر فضائلهم وغاس بحقوقهم من الأولين والآخرين من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين أما بعد سلام عليكم جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاته Today is the third day of the holy month of Sha'ban and tonight is the the fourth night of the holy month of Sha'ban being the wiladat day of Sayyidu Shuhada and wiladat night of Kamar Bani Hashim Abu Fadl Abbas alayhi salam Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali wajib farajam I want to carry on where we left last night. We have been discussing about the responsibilities of an individual towards his imam, towards the imam of the time. And if you look at the life of Abu al-Fadl Abbas alayhi salam, you will find that the way he performed his responsibility towards his imam, towards his master, was amazing. How he performed his responsibility to realize your own responsibility, your wazifa, your zimmedari, if you like. What you are supposed to do at the presence of the imam of the time. And that is why in the ziyara of Hazrat Abbas, salam, this ziyara was written by our sixth holy imam. It is recorded by Abu Hamza Thamali in Mafatihul Jinan. Our sixth holy imam when he addresses, when he wants to salute Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam, he salutes him in this way. Now from this ziyara, you will come to know the qualities of Abbas alayhi salam. And from those qualities, it is for us, for you and I to learn that how his life was, how his life was like. And we can learn from his life. You'll find that the qualities when Imam Sadiq is teaching us to salute Abbas alayhi salam by saying, Ashhadu laka bit taslim. The first quality is that Ashhadu laka bit taslim. I bear witness that you were submissive. Yani Abbas alayhi salam. Ashhadu laka bit taslim. What tasdik? You are true or you are truthful. What tasdik? Wal wafa. You are very faithful. You are very loyal. Wal nasiha. You are a reliable friend to the son of the Prophet. You are a reliable friend to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So you have got already four qualities here from the ziyar of Abbas alayhi salam by Imam Sadiq alayhi salam. That he was tasdik, he was a truth, he, he was truthful, he was submissive, he was, he was loyal, he was very faithful, he was a reliable friend to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. The first quality that Imam Sadiq alayhi salam mentions here is that you are submissive. Again, if, if, I take back, if I take you back to Karbala, and if you see the biography and the life of Hazrat Abbas, salam, you will find that in the journey of Karbala, Abbas, salam, the way he was submissive to Imam Hussein, salam, it was amazing. Oh Abbas, go to Umar Asad and tell him that we want one night so that I spent that night for Ibadah. This was the night of Ashura. Abbas salam, goes to Umar Asad. Imam Hussein alayhi salam tells Abbas that, Oh Abbas, I want you to protect the tents. Abbas alayhi salam protects the tents. I want you to guard the tents. Oh Abbas, go and fetch water for the kids. Abbas alayhi salam goes to fetch water for the children of Abba Abdullah. 
for everything he was told. He says, Sam'an wa ta'an. I've heard and I'm obedient to you, O oh my master. This is a lesson for us. That if Imam Zamana reappears, how much obedient are we towards our master? Not only that he reappears right now, how much obedient are we at the presence of Imam Zamana? He's there, he's looking at us, he's watching at us, whatever we do. And this is a lesson for us. We can get from, from the life of Abbas. He says that I'm ready. And what position was he holding in the journey of Karbala? The position of Abbas was that he was the commander in chief of the army of Hussein. He was the standard bearer. He was the flag bearer. He, he, was, he was the commander. He could say that, oh my master, I am the commander in chief. And you are telling me to go and fetch water for your kids? He could say at that time, that do you want me to guard the tents? Do you want me, you are sending me to Umar Asad? But no, when he is commanded by his master, he says, Sam an wa ta'an. Moving on in this ziyara of Abbas, salam, which is documented by Imam Sadiq, salam, it says that you never lagged behind. Oh, my uncle Abbas, Imam Sadiq says, that you never lagged behind. You, O oh Abbas, you, were, you, nor did you turn your face away. Whenever, whatever you were told, with that magnanimity, you performed your duties. This is a lesson for us, that he performed his duty. See, to claim is something else. And to act and implement upon responsibilities is the real task. Anybody could claim, but the real task is... To perform the responsibility. To perform the zimmedari. And you will find that in the life of Abbas salam, Whatever he was told by, the, by his master. He was ready to perform. He acted and implemented upon his responsibility. A'udhu billahi minash shaitwan ilayna rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim wal asr. Inna al-insan lafi khusr. Illa al-lazina amanu amilu salihat. Wa tawasaw bil haq. Wa tawasaw bil sabr. Amanna billah. وصدق الله العلي العظيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وبه نستعين إنه خير ناصر ومعين الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين شفيع المذنبين رحمة للعالمين سيدنا ونبينا وشفي ذنوبنا وحبيب قلوبنا وطبيب نفوسنا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد والصلاة والسلام على علي أمير المؤمنين وصي رسول رب العالمين علي بن أبي طالب والصلاة والسلام على صديقة الطاهرة فاطمة الزهراء بنت رسول الله سيدة نساء العالمين <تصفيق> والصلاة والسلام على سبت الرحمة الحسن والحسين سيد شباب أهل الجنة والصلاة والسلام على أئمة المسلمين علي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر بن محمد وموسى بن جعفر وعلي بن موسى ومحمد بن علي وعلي بن محمد والحسن بن علي والهجة القائمة المنتظر المهدي بقية الله خير لكم إن كنتم مؤمنين صلوا على محمد وآل محمد we all know that Imam Hussein left Medina on 28th of Rajab. 
he reached Makkah Mukarrama on the third of Shaban, like today. He reaches Makkah Mukarrama. He stayed there in Makkah Mukarrama till eighth of Zilhij, and then just a day before Arafah. This is sixty years after Hijrah. On the eighth of Zilhij, Imam Hussein alayhi salam is informed by his companions that your enemies. They have hidden their swords beneath their ihram. And they want to attack you while you are performing your hajj, while you are doing tawaf. On hearing this, Hazrat Abbas salam, looks at Imam Hussein. Salam, and he says that, Ya Sayyidi wa Mawlai, that if you permit me, then I go on top of the Kaaba and I deliver a sermon. Imam Hussein salam, Permits Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam. Again, see, there are small, small things here, but they are full of lessons in journey of Karbala. This, is, this could be a small thing for us, uh, 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 only one point, but it is full of lesson. Here, Ima, Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam doesn't go to deliver a sermon without the permission of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, the Imam of the time. He says that, do you permit me to go and deliver a sermon? He could have gone without the permission of his master, but he, he asks a permission. And he was granted the permission. History tells us that he takes the curt holding the curtain of Khane Kaaba. He climbs on top of Khane Kaaba, on the roof of Kaaba. And he starts to deliver a sermon. There he delivers a sermon. Now imagine, this: the Khane Kaaba becomes the member. And the Khatib is the son of Mawlud Kaaba. Now when he starts to recite the khutbah, addressing to Bani Umayyah, Addressing to the enemies of Hussein ibn Ali alayhi salam. The first statement of Abbas alayhi salam is, he says, Alhamdulillahi alladhi sharrafa hadha bi kudumehi abihe. Bi kudume abihe. Alhamdulillahi alladhi sharrafa hadha bi kudume abihe. Which means that all praise is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has honored, who, who has honored Kaaba. With the arrival of his father. Alhamdulillahi sharrafa hadha. Praise is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who has honored this. Pointing towards Kaaba. With the arrival of his father. Pointing towards Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Yani Kaaba is honored. With the arrival of his father. Whose father? The father of my master. The father of Hussein. With the arrival of his father. Man kana bil amse baitan asbaha qiblatan. Hazrat Abbas says that since yesterday, this was a house of stones. But the, but the arrival of his father, with the arrival of his father, today it has become qibla. Asbaha qiblatan. Allah has made it qibla with the arrival of Amirul Muminin. And who is that Ali? He is the father of this Hussein. Now again, there is another point here. That Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam, who, who, who is the father of Abbas alayhi salam? Again, is Ali alayhi salam. But he's saying his father. See, look at the adab. How he is, he is he, that, that, that respect and prestige towards Imam Hussein alayhi salam. He says his father. Then Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam says, O oppressors, you are not allowing the Imam of the pious to visit the Kaaba? He says, one who has the most right to do so. To perform Hajj. And you are not allowing him to perform Hajj? Had it not been for the test of humans. Then this Kaaba would have uprooted itself. And flown to my master. And done his Tawaf. Yani, as the says the Kaaba would have uprooted. And it would have gone to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And the Kaaba would have done Tawaf of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. The will of Allah is the will of Imam Hussein. Wa ma tashauna. Illa an yasha Allah, Surah Dahar. Quran also says that these people, Ahlul Bayt, are those that they want what Allah wants. And interestingly, Allah wants what they want. So uh, Hazrat Abbas says the same thing. He says, The will of Allah is the will of Hussein, is the will of my master. And the will of my master is the will of Allah. Had it not been for the test of Allah, it is the test of Allah that the Kaaba is not uprooted to go and perform the wife of Hussein. If it was not the test of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then I would have attacked you the way the eagle attacks the sparrows. I would have attacked you. 
are you competing are you competing with those who played with death since their childhood yani are you competing with us ahlul bayt we have played with death since childhood now here there is an explanation of hazrat abbas alayhi salam what does abbas mean when he says that are you competing with us with ali muhammad we have played with death since childhood and history is full of examples of from the life of abbas alayhi salam i'll just give one example from the life of abbas alayhi salam in the battle of siffin abbas alayhi salam was only 13 years of age in the battle of siffin but then when muawiya commanded that bring your warriors imam ali alayhi salam he sent abbas alayhi salam at that very young age at the age of 13 he covered his face with the veil it is said that this battle took it it it, it took long for 18 months it took 18 months to finish and and then abbas goes to the battlefield he says that is there any one to fight me muawiya calls his warriors because we all know the battle of siffin was against muawiya muawiya calls his warriors come over who is ready to go and fight this youth this young man ibn shafa who was equivalent to 10000 people he was so strong he was so brave he says i'm ready to go but he says that you want me o muawiya to go and fight this young man this youth it does not befit me to go and fight him i'll send my sons he sends the first son abbas alay salam strikes him with one strike the first son was killed seven sons of abu shafa were killed and finally abu shafa himself was killed in that battle all of his sons were killed until a time came yani abbas alay salam with one strike he would kill them this was the bravery of abbas alay salam he was slashing the enemies until a time came that amirul mu'minin imam ali alay salam calls abbas back he says o oh abbas irji ila al khiyam o oh abbas come back come back to the tents now at that time when he comes back the companions they say when imam imam husain alayhi salam imam ali alayhi salam lifts the veil from the face of abbas alayhi salam the companions are saying to imam ali alayhi salam that o oh ali why don't you let him finish off all the companions let him finish off all the companions at that time imam ali alayhi salam replies he says innahu dhukhrun lil husain he says that he is mad for karbala he is mad for husain abbas is created for husain innahu dhukhrun lil husain and that is why abbas alayhi salam on top of khane kaaba when he does this khutbah he says what do you think what do you think you think that you will be able to attack my master you'll be able to attack my master husain you are repeating the same mistakes the way quraish repeated mistakes this was the mistakes of quraish they thought that they will attack rasulullah while my father ali was there they could not take they could not attack rasulullah in badr nor in uhud nor in khandaq nor in khaybar in laylatul mabit as long as the hazrat abbas says in his khutbah on top of khane kaaba as long as ali was there they could the quraish could not take, they could not attack muhammad and as long as i am alive you cannot attack husain ibn ali alayhi salam as long as i am there you cannot attack husain ibn ali husain ibn ali is always protected i will protect him you could not kill the prophet because of ali and you will not be able to kill who are these people those who came to fight imam husain their ancestors had killed rasulullah and that is why abbas says the same thing that you could not kill the prophet due to the presence of amirul mu'minin and you will not be able to kill my master husain if i am alive and in that ziyara that is why imam sadiq alayhi salam says in that ziyara assalamu alayka ayyuhal abdus salih al muti'u lillah wa li rasuli wa li amiril mu'minin wal hasan wal husain what does it mean we are reciting ziyara every thursday in ziyarat waritha we do recite ziyara of hazrat abbas alayhi salam but do we understand only one sentence is enough for us to understand 
If we implement all, all in one sentence, we are ready to get salvation. This one sentence of Ziara of Abbas alayhi salam, it means that peace be upon you, salutations be to you. Assalamu alaikum, ayyuhal Abdul Saleh, the righteous servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Abdul Saleh. And what was his quality? Al Muti'u, he was obedient. Al Muti'u lillahi, obedient towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wali Rasuli, obedient towards Rasul. Wali Rasuli. Wali Amir al Mu'minin, obedient towards Amir al Mu'minin. Wal Hassan, Wal Hussein. And you were obedient towards Hassan and Hussein. All those people, they were Ansar Allah. Abbas is also Ansar Allah. Abbas is also included in, uh, he is amongst Shuhadai Karbala. And we greet them, Assalamu alaikum ya Ansar Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum ya Ansar Amir al Mu'minin. You are the helpers of Rasulullah. You are the helpers of Amir al Mu'minin. Because you are obedient towards your master. A big question for us. We need to think and ponder. As we are celebrating the birth anniversary of Hazrat Abbas alayhi salam. We need to think when we sit in the mahfil of Abbas alayhi salam tonight. At least we have to ask ourselves that how much obedient am, am I towards my master. See the life of Abbas alayhi salam. His steadfastness. His obedience. His loyalty. His faith, faithfulness. How faithful he was towards his master. The master of our time. Again, last night's talk. I want to end up. I want to wrap up with last night's talk to conclude that we, won't, we need to be steadfast. We need to be loyal towards our Imam. How much loyal are we towards the Imam of our time? The Imam of, of the time of Abbas was Hussein ibn Ali al -Islam. The Imam of our time is Imam al How much loyal are we towards Imam al One question to ask ourselves during the mahfil of Abbas alayhi salam. Especially when, in this day and age, when somebody posed a question to Imam Sadiq alayhi salam, that in Akhir al-Zaman, what shall we do? So Imam Sadiq says, recite a lot. Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Muqallib al-Qulub, Sabbit qalbi ala dinik. Keep us steadfast in your religion. This is called Dua'i Gharik. In the time of Ghaybat of Imam Zamana, when it will be very hard, very difficult, extremely difficult to protect our Iman, at that time recite this dua. That, O oh Allah, O oh Rahman, O oh Rahim, please protect our religion. Sabbit qalbi ala dinik. Protect us. Make us, be on this, make us be steadfast. Make us steadfast in your religion. Let us pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Allah keep us steadfast. May Allah keep us on the path of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. Allahumma razukni shafa'at al Hussein. اللهم رزقني زيارة قبر الحسين ودفن في جوار الحسين اللهم دخلنا الجنة من باب الحسين اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات اللهم اشف كل مريض بحق الحسين اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات تابع بيننا وبينهم بالخيرات إنك مجيب الدعوات إنك على كل شيء قدير <clears throat> in last night's lecture, there was a mistake. It was uh, the companion's name, which I mentioned, was not Hilal bin Nafe, but it was Nafe bin Hilal. So I just thought of drawing your attention, uh, just in case if you read in history, so that you are not confused. And uh, I'm thankful to Mullah Saab, Mullah Abdullah, who drew my attention. So. This is the benefit of having our elders in our majalises. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our elders and all our scholars. And uh, there is sad news. Shamsi Saab passed away today in London. His burial will be arranged in Leicester, which will be informed to all soon. Uh, let us pray Surah Fatiha for Shamsi Saab and for all Marhumin. Surah Mubarakat al-Fatiha. ما رحيم مالك يوم الدنيا كان عبد الله كان يستيله من الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعم عليهم من المعروف إلا الله وعليهم
Lastly, let us pray five times Amma Yujibu for all those who are ill and sick. We'll pray all together for the quick recovery. Allahumma swalla ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Amma Yujibu al Mudhtar Ida Daahu Yakshifusu. Amma Yujibu al Mudhtar Ida Daahu Yakshifusu. أما يجيب المضطر إذا دعاه يكشف السوء أما يجيب المضطر إذا دعاه يكشف السوء أما يجيب المضطر إذا دعاه يكشف السوء سورة مباركة الفاتحة شفاء مرضى دسترخان سید الشہداء امام اب عبداللہ الحسین ان نظر امام جعفر صادق علیہ السلام فور لیڈیز ان جنس انشاءاللہ آن ففت شعبان سندے 22nd اپریل 2018 مؤمنین ان مؤمنات آر کورڈیلی انوائیٹڈ ات در ریزیڈنس آف سید حسین احمد رزوی تائم 2 پی ایم تل 8.30 پی ایم مؤمنین آر ریکویسٹڈ تو اٹن در سفرہ بر محمد وعالی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم Oh, my God.